So guys, hitting your driver solid, getting into a great position. You know, like the great players, really getting your body into the correct positions to be able to launch a driver high and down the line. It's a difficult shot, it's not that easy to feel, but we can steal a feel here when we're looking at swing geometry, when we're copying the moves of the great players. And what we're really seeing with a lot of players is the lateral movement from the top of the swing here. We're looking at getting this lead hip moving four to six inches forwards. That's on average. Club golfers, we're looking around 1.5 to 2.5 inches of lateral movement forwards in the swing. And this is causing some really big issues. Later on, on in the video, we're gonna have a look here at a couple of the great players and you know, show some slow motion examples, give you guys a, a better chance of understanding there what's going on. But really looking at this move and getting this sequence correct, leading in with this left hip, this left knee, it's gonna be much easier than getting this right side up too high and spinning backwards. Getting into a great finish position where we have you know, a slight arching of the back, some lateral movement with this bottom half, also helps shallow out your plane. And I'm gonna show you that coming up in the video. Guys, the way that you can train this, getting up to the top of the swing and just feeling that initial part of that, that lead hip, that lead knee, just moving forwards. It's almost like that when we're getting up to the top, we're just, you know, if we had our hands on a wall here, we'd be just creating a bit of a stretch here. So guys, let's have a look now at the PGA Tour player at Impact and almost identical when we're looking at the, the position with the driver here. We're gonna have a look at some evidence-based material, really getting in there and understanding what you need to do. The closer you get to these positions, really the better you hit it. Now, if these guys are all the same, it really makes sense to pay attention to this. Now, let's have a look. We've got a shadow effect of McElroy and Jason Day on this side here. Now, I've drawn a line up through the shoulders here, and we're gonna have a look at McElroy around 32 degrees. Looking here at Jason Day, 32 degrees. And we'll have a look at the head position from the middle of Jason Day's head back in here behind the knee. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. Now we've got Bryce DeChambeau on the other side here drawing a line straight up. We see that their lead legs are up against the wall. We've got DeChambeau here also 32 degrees and from the middle of that cap down behind the knee. Now looking at this swing you know you can see the amount of movement forwards that they have. Now this is an important part. Now the hips, sometimes people ask me, the hips, you're looking around 30 to 50 degrees, 30 to 45 degrees around that area. So they are obviously opening up. But to get yourself across and get that lead hip over that left ankle, this is the position that you're after and then keeping your head behind the ball. All right, and this is gonna launch that ball. It also helps us to hit the ball from the inside and hit the ball on the way up. Now this is a part of the driver series that we have on worldclassgolf.com. Guys, if you're interested in online lessons, uh, check out craighansongolf.com. Uh, this is a great way, if you're drawing your lines up from your lead ankle and looking at positions, now these angles that I have here, this is uh, the V1 Home Studio, and you can get this on uh, worldclassgolf.com. It's normally around 590. We're selling it for $99, so check out worldclassgolf.com, guys. There's some swing geometry. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.